Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and we have some very cool news today, some pretty cool stuff overall, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. The very first thing that I have for you guys is actually from Creative Beast Studio and the Beasts of the Mesozoic, and that is the fact that we have some brand new pre-orders that have gone live, I believe yesterday, on the Creative Beast Studio website. We've got ourselves the brand new paint variant of the Atosaurus. We also have ourselves a brand new paint variant of the Akero Raptor, which looks just as cool as the Atosaurus. And then we've also got some brand new 118th scale figures. I know everybody was a pretty big fan of those. So we've got ourselves a Velociraptor Osmolsky, as well as the Velociraptor Mongoliensis black version, and a Dromaeosaurus Albertensis. And they all look awesome. I'm definitely going to be pre-ordering each and every one of them. I feel like every single figure is pretty much a must-have, as is mostly everything that the Beasts of the Mesozoic releases. So if you are interested in picking yourself some of these up, again, make sure you pre-order them now as you get them for a bit of a discounted price compared to when they are officially released. And uh, I will include a link, as usual, in the description to where you can head on over there right now and pre-order yourself one or all of these beautiful figures. And then as far as Rebor goes, they recently unveiled an upcoming model on us that was pretty darn interesting, honestly. We are going to be getting ourselves a kind of Jurassic Park style T-Rex, but it's a zombified version, and that is definitely unique. And one thing Rebor has been good at is coming up with different ideas that you don't see other people making, different ideas that are very unique, again, and uh, helps them to stand out, I think, from the crowd when it comes to prehistoric releases. And this is yet another perfect example of that, because I've never seen anybody create something like this. And when you're a Jurassic Park collector, and we've had kind of a sea of Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurs, it's definitely a breath of fresh air to see something so different like this. Again, it's not going to be something that everyone is a fan of, but personally, I definitely am excited for it. Also, another thing I've been promoting quite heavily lately is the fact that Dino Dream now has the official Jurassic Park license, and I've been showing off quite a few of their upcoming models. We have a few different angles now kind of showing off the models here, and you can see that we've got some alternate angles of the Pteranodon, giving you basically an idea of what this model is going to look like and how different it's going to be from the older release of the Pteranodon from Dino Dream. But on top of that, we also have a look here at the different velociraptors they are going to be releasing pretty much perfectly recreating the velociraptors from the end of jurassic park and the two kind of oh i would almost say iconic poses for the raptors and they both look fantastic and on top of that we actually have a look at the fully painted samples of the raptors and man they look incredible honestly all these kind of pre-production images that we've been seeing have uh, definitely had me pretty hyped but i don't feel like you can truly get as hyped as you can when you actually see what the models are going to look like. These look incredible, and I feel like currently Dino Dream probably has the best Jurassic Park Velociraptors out that I've seen anywhere, but these are probably going to be the two best Velociraptors when it comes to Jurassic Park-style raptors that I've seen even better than their older ones. So beyond hyped for these two releases, pretty much everything coming from Dino Dream for their Jurassic Park line. And then when it comes to Arctic figures, pretty much right after I had finished my last news video, they had released the full bodied images of their V-Rex. So you can now see what the V-Rex is going to look like. And what's also really cool is he's going to be making a male and female version of the V-Rex. The male, I believe, is up there on the top. And the female is on the bottom, so he's going to actually be sculpting them out again a little bit differently. I don't think that the female is fully finished quite yet. He had recently told me that he was going to be redoing a little bit on the female. But again, you can basically kind of run through the images here and just see how incredible this looks overall. Like such an awesome release from Arctic Figures. And especially when it comes to a V-Rex, I don't know that I've ever seen a more perfect representation of what the V-Rex looks like. So this is definitely going to be another of the most exciting releases coming from Arctic Figures. And they pretty much seem to do that all the time where they almost one up their previous release with something even cooler the next time around. And that's definitely what I'm seeing here with this V-Rex. Cannot wait to get one of these in my hands. And get it up for review for you guys here on the channel. And something else that's really cool is the fact that we have a new company on the scene that's going to be producing some awesome looking chaos effect style figures. They are called Art Toys 
You can see what their logo looks like right here, obviously with a nice Ultimasaurus on it. And I think the logo is pretty much awesome enough. But once we actually move into a look at their first figure, you can see what that's going to be as we've got ourselves an awesome looking Paradynonicus. And this is something that I've never seen anybody kind of do is create a more realistic and sort of adult looking version of a Paradynonicus, and I believe they have intentions of doing this with a lot of the different kind of Chaos Effect style dinosaurs, and who knows, maybe at some point in the future they may end up making, you know, other dinosaurs that are based on Chaos Effect dinosaurs, but maybe we've never even seen them, you know, the possibilities are pretty much endless as far as that stuff goes. They've also informed me that they intend on making three different lines, a more basic one to scale more so with the Mattel figures as well as a very detailed diorama style line of figures and then of course mini figures so there's definitely some really cool stuff to come from them but just in general looking at the quality of this Paradynonicus shows you how good their figures are going to be as this looks beyond excellent so this is another company for sure to keep your eye on really looking forward to seeing what they produce in the future and if you are interested in following them keeping up to date with everything that they are going to be doing I will include a link in the description to their Instagram account where you can check them out and make sure you follow them on there. Of course, once this figure is officially up for sale, I, as always, will let you guys know. And then when it comes to Mattel, a huge thank you goes out to Collect Jurassic for this information. But first of all, we have a look at a brand new line of Mattel Jurassic World figures. They are going to be called the Fierce Changers, and they are basically, you know, transforming dinosaurs. Now, we saw a little sneak peek of this with the T-Rex that kind of transforms into the Ford Explorer in my last news video, but this is the first time that we've got a good look at what the packaging looks like, the logo, and of course two more figures as we have the Carnotaurus and Stegosaurus, as well as the Baryonyx and Parasaurolophus, and obviously they're a bit more exaggerated, they're not exactly what most adult collectors would probably look for, but I'm intrigued, you know, I really am going to be uh, quite interested in picking some of these up and getting a look at them in person, of course I'll review them here on the channel when they do officially release but I don't really know exactly how I feel about them quite yet I think they look cool but only time will tell how cool and the final thing is a full body reveal here a good look actually this time around at the upcoming Mattel camouflage and battle in Dominus giving us a look at what the sculpt looks like the paint job everything like that and I really think it looks nice you know I'm definitely hyped for this release I love the Indominus Rex and I love the fact that we've now got a few different versions of the Indominus in the Mattel line and this definitely looks to be another really cool looking version of one and of course I love that kind of light up aspect to it which I'm really hyped to see in person so this is definitely a must have if you ask me one I'm for sure going to be picking up and adding to my collection as soon as it's available. So in the comments section, guys, let me know what you think of all of this new stuff, especially the new Fierce Changers line, because I'm really intrigued to hear your feedback. And also make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.